Good sound check for you guys. Sound good? Uh, everybody good? On the sound? All right. Steve. anything up here. It's Gunberg. Can someone grab Gunberg? Yep. Be just a minute, thanks. Technical difficulties, of course. I think we're good, Rick. Okay. I know what's going to happen. This is going to go flying right off right here. <laughs> you guys still good? I bumped this mic like four times. Everybody okay? <laughs> All right. So thanks for coming. I'm Doug Stevens. I'm going to uh, read a prepared statement for everyone. I'll introduce uh, the folks we have with us in the room, and then uh, uh, we'll I think everybody has a, a few things they'd like to say. So we'll just take our turns up here <clears throat> and uh, go through it. Is everybody ready? You guys all good? All right. <clears throat> good morning. My name is Chief Doug Stevens of the Littleton Police Department. Here with me today is Michael Schneider, FBI Special Agent in Charge from the Denver Field Office, 18th Judicial District Attorney John Kellner, Board President for Metro Denver Crime Stoppers Mike Mills, and retired Denver District Attorney <clears throat> Mitch Morrissey of United Data Connect. Littleton, Colorado is a close-knit community where multiple generations of families have raised their children, attended our schools and churches, played on our parks and on our wonderful trails, and worked hard to support their families. Because there is such a strong sense of community in Littleton, what happens to one is often felt by all. We have asked everyone to be here today to call on that sense of community and request your help. On January 27, 2002, 29-year-old James Springer, 26-year-old Aaron Gala were finishing their work shifts at the end of the night at AMF Broadway Lanes Bowling Alley located at 5485 South Broadway in Littleton. An employee of another nearby bowling alley, 23-year-old Robert Zayez, was also present and waiting for a ride home from James. Tragically, James, Aaron, and Robert were confronted by a perpetrator and subsequently shot to death. Investigators determined these senseless murders may be related to a prior attempted burglary of the bowling alley a week earlier on January 20, 2002. Investigators determined that on the night, Aaron placed a call to a friend for a ride home at 11.40 p.m. At approximately 11.50 p.m., a middle-aged white male with a bald head and medium build was seen exiting the bowling alley wearing a dark-colored, below-the-knee trench coat. The male was observed entering a dark-colored, late-model pickup truck and leaving the area to the south. Aaron. James and Robert were discovered deceased at 11.55 p.m. by Aaron's friend. This community, especially the families of James, Aaron, and Robert, deserve answers. We have agents and detectives working diligently on this case who are following up on every lead and tip that we receive. 
We will use every available resource and investigative method, technology, and technology toward our unified goal of seeking justice for the friends and families of James, Aaron, and Robert. Investigations, investigators are reviewing and retesting evidence, including items from the trash can in the men's room, as well as other areas on the property. Technology not available at the time of the crime has allowed us to develop new investigative leads. As many of you have likely seen in the media lately, advancements in fields such as genealogy and DNA analysis has led to resolution in many other cold cases. Agents and detectives are consistently conducting interviews related to this case. We thank those people who have already been interviewed as we anticipate speaking with you again and appreciate your patience. For those of you who have not engaged with us previously, we know there is likely information that has not been shared. We believe people familiar with circumstances surrounding this case remain in our community. It is sometimes the case that people who may have knowledge initially do not come forward due to their close relationships with those who may have been involved, as well as their reputation and standing in the community and among friends. We recognize relationships change over time, as do people and their perspectives. It is not too late to come forward. We're asking for your cooperation. For those individuals who have information about this incident, but who have not yet spoken to law enforcement or believe their information may be insignificant, please contact us, even anonymously, and allow investigators to make that determination. Further, there are times when people are unknowingly brought into a situation by the person responsible. Rest assured, we have the ability to identify those that were inadvertently involved. Metro Denver Crime Stoppers is offering up to a $30,000 reward for information leading to the arrest of anyone involved in this case. We have a designated phone line and email address for you to share your information. Please contact us at 720-913-STOP or visit our social media pages at MetroDenverCrimestoppers.com. The Littleton community grows stronger because of your compassionate cooperation and assistance. Thank you for your time. We look forward to any information you can provide. And I know every, all the folks up here um, have a ton of resources that are thrown at this case. We appreciate everything that they're doing um, to help us solve this case. And I'd like to start with uh, Special Agent in Charge of the Denver Field Office, Michael Schneider. Thank you, Chief. Uh, again, my name is Michael Schneider. I'm the special agent in charge for the FBI here in Colorado. Uh, I want to reiterate uh, a few of the points that the chief made today. Um, I'm here today to show our agency's commitment to get justice for James, Aaron, and Robert and bring closure to their families. They deserve it. This community deserves it. Special agents and detectives are diligently following up on every lead and tip we receive. They are reviewing reassessing and reevaluating all evidence. They have been conducting additional interviews with many more to come. We are gonna use all available investigative tools, technology, and resources toward our unified goal. As the chief mentioned, technology that was not available at the time of the crime has allowed us to develop new investigative leads. Cases once thought unsolvable are now within reach thanks to advances in DNA analysis and genealogy work. As the Chief mentioned, it is highly likely that someone in our community has important information that will help us solve this crime. The families of James, Aaron, and Robert are counting on those with information to come forward. No piece of information is too small. We have the ability to identify those who have inadvertently, uh, may have inadvertently been involved and now is the time for them to come forward. We are asking for your cooperation. If you have any information, please contact us even if you feel doing so only anonymously. Thanks again for joining us here today and helping us share our collective message of our joint commitment to seeing this investigation through to fruition. In coordination with our partners here today, we will continue to dedicate all available resources to follow every lead and all investigative capabilities will be brought to bear to bring closure for the families of James, Aaron, and Robert. Thank you.
Good morning and hello to all of you. My name is Michael Mills and I'm the board chairman of Metro Denver Crime Stoppers. On behalf of the entire board of directors of Metro Denver Crime Stoppers and our over 50 law enforcement partners, I want to thank you for allowing me the opportunity to speak to you today. Our partnership with Mitch Morrissey and his amazing team at United Data Connect has been an absolute game changer on how we are able to approach many cases that have gone unsolved for many years. Over the last 19 years, the technology that is available to us today was not available to us then, and therefore, with the advancement in technology, we are, we are committed to use all of our resources available to solve these crimes in Colorado. It is important to know that the community know that agents and detectives have been working diligently to find the person or persons responsible for this horrific crime. The importance of the community cannot be understated. This is a crime that will be solved. We'll get answers for James, Aaron, and Robert and their families and friends. There is no question in my mind that with your assistance, we will bring justice. As has been stated before, we are offering up to $30,000 for information leading to an arrest in this case. Can you help? Will you help? Are you willing to break your silence and remain anonymous to help us solve this case? Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. My name is John Kellner. I'm the district attorney for the 18th Judicial District. And I'd just like to say a few words of support and encouragement for this incredible law enforcement team that has been working diligently to solve this case for this community. The Littleton Police Department has never given up on this case. Crime Stoppers, who has so generously raised the award to help solve this crime, stepping up to the plate and using new information from previously unknown genetic resources brought to bear by Mitch Morrissey and his company along with the support of the FBI means that this case will be solved. This case will be solved. Aaron, Jim, and Bobby deserve justice. Their friends, their family, this community deserves justice and they will get it. Rest assured that as advances in DNA technology that have led to cold case successes like solving the 1980 murder of Helene Przinsky in Douglas County, like capturing and convicting the Golden State Killer in California, those same advances in technology are being brought to bear on this case. And this is your opportunity. If you know something, if you think you know something, Call, step up to the plate, make your voice be heard, and help solve this crime. Thank you. Good morning, I'm Mitch Morrissey, the former Denver District Attorney, and now uh, I run United Data Connect, which is a genetic genealogy company. And we are just honored to be part of the task force to try to solve this case. I grew up not far from here, drove through Littleton to work. My first job when I was just a kid. It's an important community, and I think it deserves answers on this case. This is a horrendous crime that has gone unsolved too long. And we're here as part of this team to provide those state-of-the-art DNA-based genealogy investigative leads that will solve this case. We've already provided some. The FBI has followed up on those quickly, so has the task force. We're going to continue this work until we find the individual or individuals that are responsible for these murders. Uh, I've got to thank Crime Stoppers. Crime Stoppers foot the bill for us to be part of this task force. They provided the funding in order to do this. This has been an important partnership that we've had with Crime Stoppers for a couple of years now, which has resulted in giving families answers 
like the three families here that deserve answers to what happened to their loved ones. My hope is that we're able to give them those answers in a time that those individuals in this family are still here to appreciate and to understand and get the closure that they need for what happened. But again, Crime Stoppers has been incredible. They continue to be. Uh, we have solved cold cases in Jeffco, Douglas County, all across the metropolitan area, up into the mountains, uh, because Crime Stoppers is willing to step up, partner with us, provide us with the finances in order to help law enforcement solve these cases. Again, I can't tell you what an honor it is, Chief, that we're part of the team to help solve this case. Thank you. Uh, again, thank you everyone for coming. That, that will conclude the press conference today. We'll not be taking any questions today, um, but uh, again, I would just implore anyone that has any information, no matter how insignificant you think it may be, to please contact us uh, through 720-913-STOP or MetroDenverCrimestoppers.com. Uh, thank you so much. Appreciate it.